Okay, Walter, it's just me. It's Saturday morning, a little before noon. Uh, the rain has stopped, so we had a pretty good downpour last night, but things seem to be easing up now. So, anyway, um, I'm going to make a quick video here. And hopefully this may be really difficult because I'm, I'm, <laughs> the camera's right in my way, but the only way to get a shot. So I can't see, well, I can't see what I'm doing here in the camera. So this is the spring holder that I just made. Okay, this is for the mini lathe. And, um, it's it's to hold a forming tool um, either horizontal or perpendicular to the ways and um, so there it is um, I got a whole collection of these now this is the fourth one I've made so I made a cutoff spring tool for the mini lathe and this is the forming tool and then I made this a uh, duplicate set for the tag lathe uh, different different design so there's some other videos I posted on that so I this morning I ground another tool bit I I'd originally I'd ground this one and I tested that with the spring holder on the mini lathe and that that's that one looks like this a little different same sort of design only it's a two-piece and um, it's you know it mounts differently onto the tag lathe so that's that's what I've done so far as far as the forming uh, spring holder is concerned so uh, with that I decided for the mini lathe I needed something a little bit bigger so I ground a, a larger tool bit I actually have some larger ones than this. I can I I have a three eighths, but um, this was this one didn't have anything ground on it initially, so it was just a blank. So I it was a five sixteenths. So that makes a five eighths um, a five sixteenths radius. That makes a five eighths uh, diameter. So what I did was is I I turned uh, I had a scrap piece of ten eighteen here. It was knurled on the end. I, I cut the knurl off with the lathe and and I just kind of roughed it down to 5 8 So that way it should make a pretty close to a, a perfect uh, radius on there. So wh what I'm going to try to do now, and I don't know, let's see, I, I, I got, got this sort of set up here, but that said, um, I don't know where the height is. Well, let's see if I can figure that out. I can bring this back. It looks like it's a little bit low, so I can crank it up a little bit here. Okay, that looks pretty close. So hopefully everything's tightened up. I might have to make a couple passes at this because I don't know. I, I can. What I'm going to do is do it in. I'm going to use the cross slide to feed because it's it. I think it does a better job. So I'm just going to lock the carriage here. Hopefully you can see all this on the camera and my hands aren't in the way too much. So here I've got a, got a can of oil here. So put a little oil on this and see if we can make it work. Um, I'm not going to, I'm going to take my time here so this video might take a few minutes. So I'm going to put the, set the mini lathe fairly flow. Let's see if I can take a look here. Um, 
I can zoom in a little bit, so that might help. Hopefully there's enough light. I don't know. It's hard to tell. Camera always looks dark, but I think it's the way that I got the viewer facing. Okay, so let's see what we can do. If I bump the camera, I'm sorry. I'm right here in the way. So. Now I noticed, uh, I, while that's running, I'm just going to let that run for a second. So I, I made a little, I cut a radius on a scrap here, and um, I noticed that, that, you know, the spring starts taking effect. In other words, if you feed the cross slide, some spring effect takes, a, some springing, you know, takes effect. And, and actually, you can just let it run, and it'll keep cutting for a few minutes until the spring effect is relieved. That that happened. That seemed to happen more as I got further into the cut. You know, like where, when it's it, 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 right now, it's not cutting very much. Just cutting the little edge off. Of, but eventually, it's going to cut more. So I don't think my hands will be in the way too much. This may this may be a better place, but it, to put the camera. But it's not ideal because I can't I can't I'm working off to the side of the lathe here so not not perfect. Hey watch it I'm not touching the cross feed right now and it's cut metal right the reason is is there's some spring effect somewhere whether it's in the holder or Or it's in my, you know, setup. I fooled around with the the uh, compound and the cross slide this morning. But you know, between the the compound, the cross slide, and the you know the carriage, it's pretty hard to get this mini lay tightened up. It's kind of you know not the best lathe in the world. I, I, and then the carriage isn't something you can fool with too easy. I can keep some of the crap out of the way. The swarp just it just peels off there, so it's it's um, doesn't chip off. So these big long runners come off. So gets in the way doesn't hurt the process any but visually you can't see sometimes so, so much swarf builds up on there you can't see anything I guess you can't see my hand but I'm crank I'm turning the ball crank pretty slowly But well, you can see stuff coming off. You can see the, so you know that I'm turning it. <laughs> I don't know if this is going to work out, so it may be a total failure. This will be the last one I build. See, I'm not even turning it now. It's taking a bite and it's cutting a bunch off. It's taking up the slack in the spring. I hear some, I hear some uh, little chatter too. I don't know if you can hear that. That's a small amount of chatter. I gotta stick my head in here eventually so I can see how deep it's cutting, but we're not, we're not close yet, so. I wanna make a more complicated, um, you know, forming bit, but I've got some tool steel here, but I'm out of, usually I, usually I uh, temper it with some map, I have some map gas propane torch that usually works fairly well, but I'm out of map gas right now, so otherwise I could grind a piece of tool steel 
a lighter piece. I hope you're feeling better. I know you weren't feeling good yesterday, so hopefully you're feeling a lot better. Hopefully it was just something temporary. I have those bouts from time to time myself, so. I hear a little chatter, not much, because I let off. If I keep feeding it, it probably won't do that. Well, it looks like it's going to take a couple minutes. Now for this kind of a cut, of course, you know, you know, regular ball, a ball type cutter would, would work just fine. I don't have one for the mini lathe. I've never made one. I, I have one for the tag. But for a more complex shape, you know, then this tool is, has some value. Th th this is just the easiest thing for me to test right now, just to making a radius. Not hard to do. I just use the corner of the grindstone a little bit. And I can't. I can't see how deep I am. You could probably see better than I can. But I know I'm not there yet. But I'm getting close to to being all the way. It'll start cutting a ridge in there eventually. That's what it'll do. So. Stick my head in here, see if I can see, but I pretty sure we're pretty sure we're really close here. Okay, I'm gonna call a call off here, call it quits, because I think we're we're in about full depth, I think. If not, we're awful close to it. So let me back out the the cross slide here a little bit. Shut the lathe off. So, okay, let me uh, take this out of here. By the way, on the opposing, um, where the opposing bit can go, I got a blank piece of tool steel in there that that way, it, that way, this piece, this bit goes in there and you know I got something tight to put it against so it helps a little bit so that's that let me let me zoom out a little bit here oh actually I could have zoomed in a lot more huh okay there we go so this thing's kind of heavy so well, there it is, and you can see I got a little piece of tool steel. Actually, it's an it's what it is is a a, a, bit, a tool bit turned upside down. But anyway, um, so there it is. That seems to work. I'm I'm pleased with it. Um, I was going to polish it up a little bit, but I haven't done that. But you know me. So let's let's take this out of here. Take a look at it. See what we got. I got something to wipe it off here. I got 
rags all over the place here. So. Well, that looks pretty good. Actually, it's 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 yeah, it went all the way. So, and that, that was pretty close to five eight. It was a little bit more. I probably got yeah, I got a little ridge in there, but it's all right. Well, there it is, just a piece of ten eighteen. See if I can get over here on this side of the viewer so I can see. So there's a piece of ten eighteen. And it was just a piece that had a couple knurls on it that I was practicing with one time or another. And so that's it. So it worked. So success. So let me, um, I guess I should post this video. Um, again, these are the other tool holders here. This is, this is a similar one for the tag. And um, it just, it mounts, it has two screws that, or two hold downs that mount it to the cross slide. It's made with two pieces, and then this part of the design is pretty similar. You know, I, I build it the same way, so, as that is the mini lathe. So, this one I polished up a little bit. I got a spring, that's just a roll pin in there, and I, and I cut it, um, I just cut it the length. Uh, the the new one I built, just th this one that I just finished. Uh, what I've been doing I, on the other three is I bought a longer roll pin and then I ground it to length. But um, on this one, I just bought a shorter roll pin and pressed it in there. So uh, also on this one, I I got smart. The other one I. <laughs> The other one I drilled a 3 8 hole and then I reamed it so the roll pin could press in there with about a 4 or 5 thousandths or 3 thousandths uh, interference fit. But this one I, I just found a letter drill to do that with so I didn't have to ream it at all. And it, if, if, you don't, if you don't get it um, to fit pretty good, uh, you, you'll start spreading this hole out and then you know that causes other problems this uh, slot so you don't want to spread that and you still want to have this a press fit so anyway but that's simple thing you know in reality so there's those two and then here's the here's the cutoff one I built and that's you know it's got the dovetail on it but other than that it's pretty much similar to the Armstrong design and of course it's scaled down for the mini lathe and then this is the other one here. That's for the tag. I built it the same way as I built the form tool holder. Got two hold downs, and and it and and this part of it is also like the Armstrong scale way down <laughs> for the tag. So that'll that ends up these videos. I think I, I'm done building spring tools right now you know so I'm gonna go on to some other project or go back on one of my I have <laughs> I have several ongoing projects that need to, some attention also so I may go back and work on those anyway I'll call off now and post this video and I hope you're feeling better okay talk to you later bye bye